welcome to Code Line. My name is Jarek. My name is Magda. And we prepared you a short demo where we want to show you how to integrate the Tungsten Fabric SDN controller with uh, two clusters. Uh, first one, Kubernetes, and the second one, OpenStack, uh, both at the same time. We would like to show you how to integrate cloud-native network functions running in Kubernetes pods and virtual network functions running in OpenStack VM. We will show you three scenarios. The first basic one will be DNF on OpenStack. The second, where, where we will switch DNF to cloud native network function on Kubernetes. And the third, where we will configure load balancers between the VM and the container. Okay, so let's go straight to the demo. So this is how our, our lab setup will look like. We have two clusters, OpenStack and Kubernetes, connected to the same SDN, tanks and fabric. Uh, uh, Tungsten acts as a neutron plugin for OpenStack and as a CNI, uh, Container Networking Interface plugin for Kubernetes. Uh, first, I will show you that the networking objects from both clusters are visible in the SDN controller. Here we have an OpenStack virtual machine called Rise VM with IP address 10.0.1.6. And as you can see, this object is also visible in the Tungsten Fabric database. Uh, here. As for the Kubernetes connection, I will create a sample pod using this definition to show you that uh, the Kubernetes CNI is also serviced by Tungsten Fabric. So uh, we created a pod and now connecting to it, you can see that uh, it has uh, the IP address as shown here. And in the project responsible for the Kubernetes pod network, we can see the interface attached to the pod and we can see the pod's name here. Uh, let's delete uh, the example pod to prepare for the next steps of the demo. And we are going to discuss three scenarios. The first one will be a service chain based on a virtual network function on OpenStack. Uh, we'll place a virtual network function between the left network and the right network and route traffic going between two virtual machines through a third virtual machine on OpenStack. And uh, we can create the VNF for the service chain right now to give it some time to boot. This is going to be an OpenWRT instance appliance. At first it will be a plain router and then we'll configure it as a firewall. In a second scenario, we'll replace the virtual machine with a pod in Kubernetes in a way that the virtual machines will not know about the change and everything will work as before. The third scenario will replicate the network functions and we'll start one on OpenStack and another instance of the same service in uh, Kubernetes and we'll show that they both can handle the traffic simultaneously in a load sharing setup. So our baseline is as follows. We have two networks, one VM in each of them and no connectivity so far. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the machines. The first one has address 10.0.0.6 and the second one is 10.0.1.6. If we try pinging, we can see that for now they are not reachable. There are no answers. And the packets are lost. We can see that the virtual machine that will become the VNF is already up. We refresh the list. And this VM will be used in our first topology, a VNF, which will receive all the traffic that goes between left VM and right VM. Let's see what the addresses on the VNF are. And they end with uh, seven. The left net interface is 07, the right net interface is 17, and we also have a management interface. Let's start with disabling the firewall to make sure that it will not interrupt the traffic. 
also start TCP dump to see when the packets start flowing through the chain. And on the left VM start a process that will generate some DNS traffic. We can see that there is no connectivity right now. And let's continue to configuring a service instance in Tungsten Fabric. First, we start with configuring a service template. The service template tells us how many interfaces we will use in the service instance and the type of the service instance. In this case, the type is in the network, so it's routed. And basing on this service template, we will create a service instance, which is a concrete object that implements the service template. Here we are choosing some concrete networks for the interfaces that we specify to the template. After doing this, we can select concrete ports, interfaces that will make the service instance. In this case, we choose three interfaces from the VNF1 virtual machine that we created before. The, the next step is to create a service policy because we have a service instance running, but we need to tell Tungsten to actually route the traffic through the chain. Uh, we are creating a policy that for all the traffic from network left to right uses service instance one, as you can see. And this last step, because we now have the instructions, we need to attach these instructions to the network so that it become active. We attach it to the left network, then we attach it to the right network, and as soon as we attach it to the second network, the service chain should become active and the packets should be routed through the VNF. We create a continuous flow of traffic between the VMs and the virtual network function. On the service instance, we show the dump that, that proves this is in fact being routed through the service chain. So this is the basic scenario, the starting point in which we have uh, an all open stack environment. And now we would like to try to mix in a CNF container. It will be running on a Kubernetes. Uh, this time we will perform a simple swap. Uh, here we have the definition of the pod that will run and all the magic happens in the CNI annotation that you can see. It requests three different interfaces to be created in the pod. And this is a crucial thing to create a working service instance because we need to have an ingress interface and an egress interface for the traffic to flow between the client and the server. So the pod is already requested. And now we can see that it's already started. Now let's open the shell and look what's inside. We have four interfaces. The first one is a standard uh, default pod network here. The second one is the left network. The third one is the right network. And the fourth one is the management network. Uh, let's also start a TCP dump on it to see uh, what will flow through because right now uh, no traffic is being forwarded. We are going to reconfigure the service chain to forward traffic through the newly created CNF instead of a VNF. The next thing about this is that Tungsten does not differentiate between containers and virtual machines. We operate on interfaces which are attached to different devices they can be virtual machines, containers, or physical devices. And this gives us the flexibility to configure the network to our needs. In this case, we remove the association from the virtual machine and add the association to the pod. We can see that the traffic stopped flowing through the virtual machine and started flowing through the container. So this is the simplest demonstration of how CNFs and Kubernetes pods can be integrated into a service chain in Tungsten Fabric.